بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافت علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل My short talk today is about CT of acute appendicitis Appendicitis is an inflammation of the vermiform appendix and it is a very common condition in general radiology practice and it is one of the main reasons for abdominal surgery in young patient. CT is the most common, the most sensitive modality to detect appendicitis. Acute appendicitis is typically a disease of children and young adults with a big incidence in the second to third decade of life. Appendicitis typically caused by obstruction of the appendiceal lumen with the resultant build up fluid, secondary infection, venous congestion, ischemia, and necrosis, obstruction may be caused by lymphoid hyperplasia in about 60% of patients, appendicular in about 30% of patients, and foreign body or Crohn's disease or other causes. Rare causes is structure of tumor parasite. And here we see anatomical position and variation of the appendix. We discussed this in the previous talk, normal appendix. Here we see a patient with a 10 years old patient with abdominal pain and we see the appendix it is in the subhepatic region and is pain due to inflammatory changes of the mesentery around the cecum here seen anteriorly probably due to a mental appendicitis or infarction. Here you, we see a patient with appendix. It is in the right inguinal canal, a right inguinal hernia. As we see here, it is not not inflamed. The as we said, the CT is the highly highly sensitive. 94 to 98 percent and the specific up to 97 for diagnosis of appendicitis and allows for alternative causes of abdominal pain also be diagnosed. The need of contrast oral or both is debatable and varies from institution to institution. Oral contrast has not been shown to increase the sensitivity of the CT scan. Here we have the radiology of the appendix. We, it is distended appendix more than six millimeter enhancing wall, thickening of the cecal appendix. It is our head sign, very appendicial inflammation, extra liminal fluid, inflammatory phlegmon, abscess formation, appendicolite, very appendicial reactive nodal enlargement, and others, perforation, venous thrombosis, extra luminal fluid, and, and others. Here we see patient with appendicitis. As we see, it is thickened appendix with enhancing wall with some very 
if uh, test winding here this is the patient with normal appendix filled with the gas here another patient with second cecal appendix with about 12 millimeter with inflammatory changes in the very cecal periabendicial mesenteric fat and some thickening of the cecal wall here another patient with appendicitis we see thick wall enhancing appendix with pericecal with the blaring of the adjacent fat of the adjacent the appendix and it is a, this is a significant sign on contrast enhanced CT scan here this is a a patient with thickened appendix with pseudo stratification of the wall giving the appearance of Diana sign. Here another patient with appendicitis as we see thickened distended appendix enhancing wall with thickening of the cecal wall and dirty stranding of the periabendicial fat. Here, this is another patient with appendicitis with thickened appendix about 14 millimeter and heterogeneous thickening and enhancement of its wall with periabendicial fat inflammatory changes as we see. Here, this is a patient with cecal wall thickening as we see here in patient with appendicitis associated with a distant slightly distended appendix with thickened wall and very appendicial fat stranding here a patient with acute appendicitis with cecal apical wall thickening as we see here here, this is a patient with appendicitis, as we see here, and this is the classic arrowhead sign, and the arrowhead sign as the result of the edema at the base of the appendix due to inflammatory changes. And we see here a patient with appendicitis, and this is the arrowhead sign due to inflammatory changes at of the base of the appendix indenting the cecum. And here another patient with appendicitis and the release of the edematous changes around the base of the appendix indenting the uh, indenting the cecum, giving the appearance of a head sign. Here, this is a patient with appendicitis, as we see thickened peritoneum uh, and periabendicial fat thickening, and also our head sign here. Here, this patient with normal appendix and with appendicolith. Aventucleth does not necessarily indicate inflammatory inflammation in the appendix and it is seen also in a symptomatic patient and as we see here in this patient. Here another patient with normal appendix with appendicleth. Here, this patient with uh, appendicitis with distended uh, uh, obstructed uh, appendix with appendicitis or with changes on the medial aspect of the cecum indentation due to edematous changes. Here, this patient with appendicitis with inflammatory mass lesion and the inflammatory mass lesion may be due to perforation or without perforation as we see here ill-defined inflammatory mass sometimes observed in the right iliac fossa 
uh, and determined by adjacent and adjacent blockage of the intestinal lobe and omentum. Here, this is a patient with uh, a bendicular inflammatory process with appendicitis, and we see here the thick and the appendix inflammatory changes around the mesentery of the appendix and thickening peritoneum. Here, another patient with uh, patient with appendicitis with inflammatory changes of the mesenteric mesentery of the appendix and later on perforation and with inflammatory mass and abscess formation. Here another patient with periabendicial abscess as we see here with location and the abscess is extended to the right iliac uh, right thoracic muscle as we see here. Here, this patient with appendicitis and uh, extensive inflammatory changes of the fat around the ileocecal region with extra luminous gas, as we see here in the retroperitoneum, due to perforation in patient with appendicitis. And the patient has also been death. Here, this is another patient with uh, inflammatory mass in the right iliac fossa due to appendicitis. And the, here, the differential diagnosis, we should exclude Crohn's disease, uh, ileocecal TB, and uh, neoblastic bosses. Here, this is another patient with appendicitis, complicated appendicitis, with uh, abscess, wall abscess characterized by extra nominal air. Due to infection. And you will see the thickened peritoneum here. Here, uh, this is a patient with classic appendicitis with intestinal obstruction in this old man and thickening of the terminal ileum as we see in this example. And this is the appendix and the ultrasound. The differential diagnosis of appendicitis, it is include the uh, diverticulitis, epibluric appendicitis, typhlitis, or mental infarction, Crohn's disease, colitis, acute colitis, or cholecystitis, urethral stone, bilonephritis, pelvic inflammatory disease, ovarian cyst, amyxanthric lymphadenopathy, and neoplasm, hoping to cover this differential diagnosis and we call it mimicker to appendicitis in another talk. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika.